Hi guys! So for today's discussion, we will be talking about schedule design, particularly about scrap estimates. Now for our discussion, so this answers the fundamental question, how many parts are going to be made in a specified time period and determines the process requirements in terms of the number of units of each type of equipment needed to meet the production schedule. Now, we want to know how to calculate the production requirements. So, we use the formula O sub K is equal to I sub K times 1 minus D sub K, where D sub K is the percentage defective items produced on the kth operation. O sub K is the desired output without defects. And I sub K is your production input. Now, you have to take note that when we solve for the outputs, so we always round it down and inputs should always be rounded up. So, dapat whole number sila parehas. So, let's have the first example. A product has a market estimate of 97,000 components and requires three processing steps. Turning, milling, and drilling having the following defective estimates of 4%, 1%, and 3%. Now, the market estimate is the output required from step 3. Now, writing our given information, so we have three processes with their respective defective uh, rates. So, yung ating output daw at process 3 is 97,000 units. And then we have the corresponding defective rates for each process. So we want to know what should be uh, the input units in order for us to produce 97,000 good units. So definitely your input should be larger than our output since meron defect rate na involved for each process. Now, ito yung ating process diagram. So since... Um, uh, this is uh, a straight operation, so we can assume that the process is sequential or magkakasunod sila. So we have three processes and their corresponding defect units or defect rates. Now from our formula, O sub K is equal to I sub K times 1 minus DK. So where your, your first formula daw is your O sub 1 is equal to I1 times 1 minus D1. So, I will be just um, substituting the K value with the process number. So, for the next process, for process 2, so O sub 2 naman yung ating gagamitin. And for the next process, process 3, so that is O sub 3 is equal to I sub 3 times 1 minus D sub 3. Now, again, we have the following process diagram. So, input units K1 will be I sub 1. And then, yung output ni 1 will be the input ni 2. Since sequential siya, magkakasunod sila. Then, yung output ni 2 will be the input of process 3. And then, you have the uh, output from process 3. Now, we want to substitute the, uh, the values from the three equations we have written above. So, this will be coming from O sub 3. So, O3 will be I3 times 1 minus D3. So, substituting the value of I3 with the value of O2. So, that will now become O2 times 1 minus D sub 3. Then, O sub 2 is equivalent to I sub 2 times 1 minus D sub 2 based on the second equation. So, therefore, our O sub 3 will be... Uh, further expanded into this form. Then, continuing with the substitutions, O sub 3 will be O sub 1 times 1 minus D sub 2 times 1 minus D sub 3. And again, with the following formula, we will be substituting the value of O sub 1. So, basically, the, the goal of this substitution is to... Um, solve or derive the formula of O sub 3 in terms of I sub 1 since ang given lang sa atin is yung O sub 3 and we want to know the value of your I sub 1. 
So, your general formula will then become I sub 1 times 1 minus D sub 1 times 1 minus D sub 2 times 1 minus D sub 3. And from this derivation, we can safely say that we can, uh, we have arrived with a general formula for a sequential process. So, plugging into the formula, so O sub K times 1 minus, uh, or is equal to I sub 1 times 1 minus D sub 1 times 1 minus D sub 2 times 1 minus D sub 3. So, dahil I sub 1 yung hinahanap, so we will be just uh, manipulating the formula and substituting the actual values to get the value for I sub 1. So this should give us an answer of 105,218.86 and again input ito so we need to round this up. So this will now become 105,219 units. Now as a general formula for sequential processes with K operations, we will be using the following formula. So, basta sequential yung process, kahit na ilan pa sila, basta sunod-sunod yan, so we can use this general formula. So, this is for solving for the output, and syempre, when we want to solve for the input, so we will just manipulate our equations. So, let's proceed to the next example. So, an operation consisting of six processes is shown through the process diagram below. So, uh, we want to determine the output of the line if there were 20,000 input units, defect rates are constant at 2%, and the subsequence BCDEB is performed once. Now, if you look closely in our uh, process diagram, so straight line lang siya, so it just happened na... Uh, sinimplify lang yung pagkakagawa ng diagram for the subsequence. So, if sinabi na performed once lang yung ating subsequence, so, therefore, we'll have the following process flow of A, B, C, D, E, and then babalik siya kay B, and then from B, diretso siya kay S. And from there, using the general formula, we will be arriving with the actual solution formula. So, your OF uh, can be computed by the following formula. And ang sabi, constant naman daw yung defect rates at 2%. So, we can say na for each 1 minus D na expression, that will be 1 minus 0 0.02. And if we will be counting the, the expressions of 1 minus D, so we will be arriving with your given 20,000 times 1 minus 0 0.02 and that is raised to 7 since 7 yung expressions natin. So this will give us an answer of 17,362.51 and since this time, output naman ang hinahanap, so we will be rounding the answer down. So this will be 17,362 units or dinrap lang niya yung decimal value. Now let's have another case. For example 3, we have stations with rework. Now for examples 1 and 2, so straight line lang yung kanyang operation. So wala siyang ibang pinuntahan. Now this time for example 3, may rework na naganap. Now for the example, the following figure shows the process of parts from station 1 to 3. Station 2 is a rework station where defective parts are being reworked. There is a requirement of 5,000 units. The defective rates for each station are 10%, 5%, and 3% respectively. Now, uh, let us see the process diagram. So, we have three processes, stations 1, 2, and 3, where station 2 is your rework station. 
So, uh, labeling our uh, diagram for easy derivation of the formula. So, this will be your I1. This is your O1. Now, take note na ang sabi, lahat daw ng papasok sa rework station will be the units that have been rejected from station 1. And for us to know how many units were rejected, so we simply multiply your input units with the defect rate for station 1. And that will become the input kay station 2. Then we'll have your output from station 2. And then your input for station 3. Now take note that all good units coming from station 1 and the good units that have been reworked from station 2 will go together sa station 3. So ibig sabihin, your input K3 is the sum of your O1 and your O2. So and then we'll have the output for, uh, for the station 3. Then we have the following defect rates for stations 2 and 3. Now for our solution, so we will be just manipulating our general formula of your O sub K. So yung unang-unang formula ng nakita natin in the previous slide. So uh, we will be solving this one from O sub 3. So, para one-liner lang yung ating formula. So, laging O sub 3 or in terms of output yung ating approach sa pagsusolve or pag-derive ng formula. So, O3 is I3 times 1 minus D3. And then, I3 daw is the, uh, the sum of your O1 and O2. So, we can uh, just write in yung I3 as I1 times 1 minus D1 plus I2 times 1 minus D2. So, I just um, substituted the general formula for O1 and O2. And we know that I2 is I1 times D1. So, substituting further, so this should give us an answer or a formula of the following. So, we have this formula for your I3. So, the next step that we need to do is to factor out I1. So, para mas maging simplified yung ating formula. So, I3 now becomes your I1 multiplied by the quantity that a 1 minus D1 plus D1 times 1 minus D2 for its expression. And then... Dahil na-complete na natin si I3, so we can now uh, plug it in in the first formula of your O3. So, yan, so plugging in. So again, uh, when we derive formula, so we want to have your output of the last station. And then, dapat yung nasa formula niya should be in terms of the first process. So, in terms of 1. So, since yun naman yung usual na given. So, either I1 or yung O doon sa case operation. So, in this example, we have arrived with the general formula for us to compute for how many input units must be, uh, must be put in the operation to have a desired output. Now, again, rewriting our general formula, our derived formula. So, O3 is simply 5,000 units. So, yan yung given sa atin. So, dahil input yung hinahanap, again, we will be manipulating our formula or our equation to solve for I sub 1. So, yun yung missing. So, I sub 1 is therefore your O3 divided by the entire expression. Okay. And then, I1 is there for your 5,000. And then, plugging in the values of your defect rates. So, this should give us an answer of 5,180.54.
And again, dahil input ang ating uh, sinusolve, so we always round it up. So the answer is therefore 5,181 units. So this ends our discussion for scrap estimate. So for further questions, you can comment down below. Thank you for watching.